How to find the right woman with online dating. Dating apps are amazing because they allow you to touch your phone and a woman appears who wants to get to know you. It is a tool that's been given to us from the heavens that allows you to create enough connection with a woman from the comfort of your own home. You touch your screen in an algorithmic manner, then you meet her in a bar and you go on dates and you have a relationship. Online dating is absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm a huge fan of in-person approaches. You can hear my voice. It's partially blown out because I spent the entire weekend with clients, some from Germany, some from the US. Most of the stuff we do in our coaching is online. Every now and then we do in-person events. So we went out and the clients, we did a lot of work together and we went hard because we really give it our all. So that's why my voice is a little bit blown. I'm a huge fan of in-person, but online dating is fantastic. People always say online dating apps don't work. The algorithms are skewed against us men. What other excuses do they have? Oh, there's too many men on dating apps and only the top 5% of men. Listen, in the end, you'll either have a result or you will have an excuse. That is it. If you're not in a relationship right now with an amazing woman, it is because you have blind spots in your communication, in your confidence, or you simply don't understand how to get enough quality dates and how to keep women interested in you. That is it. Online dating apps work if you make it work. Not any partic- not every app is going to work for you. It really also depends on the platform selection and they vary by customer avatar and by target audience as well as location. So for example, if you're in the US, Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, Match.com, Christian, Mingle, there's other ones that may be way more suitable for you than others depending on what you're looking for. Political, religious affiliations, if you happen to have some... I'm not even political. I don't want to put myself on either side of the camp. I like to be an independently thinking human being, by the way. But depending on what you're looking for, that exists as well. Not every app will work for you equally. But if you build a fantastic profile, great pictures, social proof, lifestyle, status, professional photography, you write a good bio, you use prompts well, you learn to text well, and 99% of men suck at texting. If you do these things, you will be able to get easily two to four quality dates a month from dating apps. I have clients who got four or five new first dates a week from dating apps. And some get two to three a month just from dating apps alone. And it only takes 15 minutes per day. One thing that I also tell you is you cannot just hide behind the screen. Oh, maybe I can just do online dating. No. If you don't have the skill set of approaching in person, you will never, never be able to keep the right woman around because you haven't created that sense of confidence within you. I just don't believe you can. If you can't walk up to somebody at any point in time, it's a skill set. I know you can't ju- it's just go and do it. It's more complex. There's a lot more factors that play into you being able to do that. But if you haven't created that skill set, if you haven't raised your levels of confidence to that point where you can actually do that, then you're never going to be able to perform on the date the way you have to to keep her actually interested in you. It just won't work. So just hiding behind the screens doesn't work. But to get dates, it's fantastic. Because you don't have to swipe right 100 times a day. It's 10 to 15 swipes right per day per day app. That's it. You sign into the app two to three times per day. You swipe right 10 to 15 times and then you use boosts. Two boosts a week, three boosts a week. You run ads basically to your profile, but you have to build it really well. Look, you might think they don't work because there's so many men out there. You don't even compete with all the men. You compete with a small percentage of men who've actually gone through the effort of designing a great profile. If you want to amuse yourself, take one of your female friends or sisters, Tinder or Hinge or Bumble profile, Tinder is the easiest, and look at the profiles of most men. They suck. Of course, there's a couple of who are amazing and they're gonna smash it 100%. Most have a little bio that says, I like hiking. I'm an outgoing person. It says nothing about, I like family. Okay, how does that differentiate you? I appreciate all these things. I'm a German. I like that. I like family also. You're not differentiating yourself at all. At all. So 
I was doing a review with a client of his dating profiles the other day. He works in medicine in Australia. And his bio didn't reflect anything that's unique about him. And he has so many things, so kind, so well established in his career, such an awesome person. And it was such a generic piece, the bio. It wasn't good at all. I was like, this doesn't show who you are in any way, shape, or form. Now, it is true that 90% of the pictures and maybe 10, 20% buy on prompts, but it does still matter. And it's way more about reducing friction in the process than it is about creating anything particularly special. You want to stand out and you want to reduce friction. But the way you stand out is by emphasizing things that are unique about you. Gym is not special. What about the gym is special? What do you do? Martial arts, your job, certain angles. So one thing that I used to have on the bio is if you don't like chocolate, please swipe left. If you like chocolate a little bit too much, please also swipe left. You can figure what that means. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, right? Because... If you were looking for somebody who has certain physical attributes and you can pre-screen for that as well. You want to be kind, you want to be respectful and you don't want to get deplatformed either. But it's okay to express your interests to such an extent that you also filter out the wrong people. Now, a little gold nugget, remove too many of the filters. Sorry, remove most of the filters that you have in search. The way you filter is mainly by manual selection you look at the likes that come in by the way most of the likes most of the matches you get will actually come from likes not from direct matching which is okay but you don't want to have too many filters okay languages religion alcohol children the way you do that is manual selection because if you have too many filters then you rid yourself yes of the wrong options but also of too many of the right ones because your profile currently has been downgraded by the algorithm the algorithm looks at you and goes, he gets swiped left on most of the time. And what do applications want? Money. How do they get money? By having as many customers on the platform as long as possible. How do we get customer retention and time spent on platform? By having customer satisfaction. How do we get customer satisfaction? By matching the right types of users. So women are the asset, so to speak, because wherever women are, be that on dating apps or nightclubs, men will follow. What a surprise that is. So they want to aggregate as many women on the platform for as long as possible. So they want to show them the best profiles. Now, how do they know what's the right profile? Some app owners admit to this, others don't, because they have to be PC and all that nonsense. But <laughs> your account has a score. You have a ranking and depending on that score, you're not even being shown the most attractive profiles and your profile isn't shown to them. So if you get swiped left on too many times and some even say how many numbers you get that's also tracked, we don't know exactly what goes into it, but the more positive signals you can show to the algorithm by how many women swipe right on you, how many of them engage in conversations with you, how many of them actually end up giving you the phone number, how many of them end up giving you the Instagram, you don't know exactly what's being tracked. But the more positive signals you can send, the higher account score goes, which you'll never know directly, only indirectly, by the quality of the matches you'll get. Then the more you do that, the better the results you'll have from dating apps. And it's absolutely within your control. You can build a fantastic profile and get really, really quality matches. Now, disclaimer. There are some men for whom it just doesn't work. If you are just either super, super short, like really short, or you're just really not good looking, you're really not, then it's not going to work for you. And that applies to like bottom 10 or 20%. Now, good news. Don't worry. Don't end it yet, please. You can always do well with in-person approaches. Any man who's kind, intelligent, got his stuff together in life, can find a quality relationship, but it will have to either be through building a fantastic Instagram, sending messages there, or in-person approaches. Through in-person approaches, that will always work. Don't worry, that's there for all of you. But there's just a certain percentage of men for whom dating apps won't work. That's fact. But for most men who are like average looking, a bell curve distribution kind of, you're going to do just fine. So I would like to encourage you to stop making excuses. I don't have the time. You will either have the result or you will have an excuse. And so many men argue for their limitations. It won't work because. 
Have you tried it? Have you used it? Have you actually made a study of it? No, you have not. You have not split tested the apps. You have whack pictures. Maybe two out of five are actually really good. You can have five out of six fantastic pictures and then the sixth one sucks, so she swipes left immediately. You had that where you're on a dating app of a woman on five out of six pictures, she looks good, and then on the last picture, you see something you really don't like, so you swipe left immediately. Women do the same thing. They judge us by our worst picture, not by the best. Social proof, lifestyle, status. You include these elements, you're gonna get great results and you'll be able to find a high quality relationship. If you want us to help you with that personally, then click the link underneath here and apply for a free initial consultation. Click it, fill out that form, then my team will get in touch with you and will develop a plan based on your individual situation to see where your blind spots are and how we can help you. Click that link, looking forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.